My name is Harry Flaherty. I am originally from Oceanport, New Jersey in the Red Bank area. I went to Red Bank Catholic High School, um, followed by Princeton University, and my primary sport was football. I would say I was pretty much born into a passion for football. My dad was a football player. Growing up, I was one of the better athletes, but uh, certainly was not just some standout. I think it was probably in the middle of high school when I started to grow into my body and um, physically started to look like uh, a Division One athlete. Um, some of my first offers to play were from some full scholarship schools like Rutgers, but I think I was very captivated by some of the Ivy League schools that began to recruit me. I ultimately decided to go and play at Princeton because of just sort of the overall combination of uh, location and academics and they had just won the Ivy League at the time and it wasn't until my sophomore year that I started as a tight end and um, was a starter for, for three years. I think one of my strengths was my versatility. I wasn't um, a slam dunk for going on to play professionally, but I always had it in the back of my mind. I always felt deep down that I could do it uh, if given the opportunity. My senior year was interesting in that I was finishing up at Princeton, finishing my senior thesis and coursework, but at the same time was training for the NFL and had a chance to play um, in an all-star game. That really kicked things off and, and gave me a real opportunity to get noticed. Upon the NFL draft, I was not selected. The trick was that year, 2011, was the year of the NFL lockout. The league shut down and no teams could sign any free agents upon the conclusion of the draft. So I had to wait sort of indefinitely to see whether I was gonna get signed. So I graduated, had no idea what I was doing as all my friends headed off to different jobs, um, but continued to train throughout the summer and finally the lockout ended in July. Um, and was signed by the New Orleans Saints. Ultimately, I ended up getting released by the New Orleans Saints. It's always a challenge to get cut. You hadn't been cut many times in my life. Continued to train uh, throughout the rest of the year and had an opportunity to go down to Tampa Bay with the Tampa Bay Bucks. Ended up getting cut from them. I uh, was accepted to law school, but continued to work out just in case uh, something happened for that training camp and uh, ended up that the Dallas Cowboys had a couple guys get injured at the very beginning of training camp and was signed to go out uh, to, to camp with them. I think the peak of it was getting to play in those preseason games with the Cowboys and Cowboys Stadium and um, learn from Jason Witten who was you know arguably the best tight end to ever play the game. And um, So that kind of wrapped up a pretty short professional career but certainly one that was um, very rewarding, enjoyable, and taught me a lot as I began to head into coaching. The person who had the most significant impact on me as an athlete was my grandfather. Once he was done coaching, he continued to work guys out as just sort of a way to give back. And I was always a part of those workouts from a young age, and I would be an eighth grader going up against somebody who was trying out for the NFL. And those types of things really had an impact on me. He believed in me. He expressed belief when I was a freshman in high school that I could go on to be a great college athlete. And um, really, I saw the impact that he has had as a coach uh, on the lives of young people. And that was sort of what motivated me ultimately to get back into football, to get into coaching. And, and that's helped me stay connected uh, to the game. Uh, you know, I, I hope that I can have that type of impact in coaching that he had on me. You're getting to stay involved by coaching and by trying to build a program, and uh, that's what I enjoy doing. So. <laughs> I